हेलो एवरी वन जे सी ई कनेक्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर आई विल बी सॉल्विंग अ प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन मोस्ट इकोनॉमिकल रेक्टेंगुलर चैनल सेक्शन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव बीन डिराइव द कंडीशन फॉर अ मोस्ट इकोनॉमिकल रेक्टेंगुलर चैनल सेक्शन एज वेल एज ट्रेपेजोटल चैनल सेक्शन हाउ दोज कंडीशन कैन बी यूटिलाइज इन सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स और इन ऑप्टेनिंग द मोस्ट एफिशियंट डायमेंशंस so we'll understand by solving the problems here so let us take a problem here uh, the problem given is find the most economical cross section of a rectangular channel section which is to be dug in the rocky portion of the soil the channel is to convey 8 meter cube per second of water with an average velocity of 2 meter per second take chaji's constant c as 60 so let us uh, first write the given data here the data is given are the discharge q is given that is 8 meter cube per second then the velocity average velocity is given 2 meter per second then the chaji's constant c is given so write the first given data then so what is uh, to be find here so we need to find here the optimum dimensions by utilizing the conditions of most economical rectangular channel section so utilizing those conditions we have to get the optimum dimensions optimum dimensions and uh, means uh, uh, the whatever the dimensions we get those should be uh, optimum at the same time it should give a maximum discharge then here the most economical rectangular channel section the conditions are p equal to 2y and also the hydraulic radius equal to y by 2 then since this geometry of the section is rectangular we know the area of rectangular channel section that is area of flow equal to a into a equal to p into y then substituting the value of b here that is the condition number 1 then we get area equal to 2y square then also we know that q equal to a into v this one also we know that q equal to a into v substitute the value of uh, or the area of flow equation here then uh, what are the data is given that is discharge and velocities are given substitute here we get the depth of flow here and whatever the depth of flow we get by Uh, using the conditions then that depth is been calling as efficient uh, depth for the channel section then as we know b equal to 2 into y then again substitute the value of y here we get the uh, channel bottom width then also calculate the hydraulic radius here r equal to y by 2 then we get this one then we know the formula that is v equal to c root of rs that is chaji's equation substituting the values of v c r then we get the bed slope so here we have got bed slope as 1 in 637 this is the bed slope so this is a uh, how the conditions are been utilizing in this problem so just way to apply the conditions here the conditions already been derived utilizing those conditions we have to get the dimensions of the channel sections for the given discharge and uh, 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 bed slope so bed slope is not given bed slope also we have calculated in some problem the bed slope will be given and for that uh, we we need to get the Uh, dimension cells this is problem number 1 and uh, let us take uh, one more uh, example so here in this example uh, what is uh, given determine the most economical section of a rectangular channel carrying a water at the rate of 0.4 m3 per second 0.4 m3 per second bed slope of the channel being 1 in 2000 take chaji's constant c as 
So in this problem also the geometry of the channel section is a rectangular. Just draw a rectangular geometry of channel section and mark width of the flow and depth of the flow. That is width of the flow as a B and depth of the flow as Y. Also write the given data. The data is given here as Q is given that is a discharge through a channel 0.4 meter cube per second. Bed slope of the channel is given 1 in 2000 that is a constant from one from start to end and as usual we know that the most economical rectangular channel section the conditions are the first condition is width of the channel section is equal to twice the depth of flow that is b equal to 2 into y and also the hydraulic radius equal to y by 2 these are the two conditions we are having with us by using these conditions we have to get the the dimensions optimum dimensions then let us calculate first the area of flow a equal to b into y then substituting with the first condition in this equation we get the area equal to 2 2 y square then also we know that q equal to a into v then q equal to ac root of rs then substituting all the given data in this equation then we get the y and whatever the depth of flow we get that is that represents the efficient depth of flow and substituting again this depth of flow in uh, condition number one we get the base width of the channel that is 1.154 so this is how uh, we have to use the conditions of rectangular channel section uh, that to be most economical so you practice the problems you will understand uh, these kind of problems so let us take a one more example this is very very important example what uh, what has been given in this example just uh, see it here rectangular channel a rectangular channel 4 meter wide has a depth of water 1.5 meter the slope of the bed of the channel is 1 in 1000 value of chajji's constant c is given 55 it is desired to increase the discharge to a maximum see the condition given here the discharge should be increased to a maximum by changing the dimensions of the section for a constant area of section slope of the bed and roughness of the channel find the new dimensions of the channel and increase in discharge so try to understand the problem first a rectangular channel 4 meter wide already given 4 meter wide and 1.5 meter depth so but this is not a most efficient channel section if if you want to get a most efficient channel section so what the dimensions or what are the new dimensions to be obtained the most efficient channel section means uh, the as i said the cost of construction should be minimum at the same time the discharge should be maximum so what are the change in dimensions we get by utilizing the conditions of most economical rectangular channel section those new dimensions should be obtained here so here already given the width of the channel section as a 4 meter and depth of the flow section as a 1.5 meter given here and the bed slope is also given the chachi is constant is given let us first calculate the area of flow for the given data the area of flow equal to a into a equal to b into y this we get area of flow as a 6 meter square then calculate the weighted perimeter and whatever whatever the data are been given for that you calculate the weighted perimeter weighted perimeter means this side this side plus this side so we get the 7 meter then you calculate hydraulic radius then q equal to ac root then we get that this is the discharge so whatever the data are being given for that for those data we have got uh, discharge here then applying the conditions for a most economical rectangular channel sections so we have to get the new dimensions and increase in the discharge that is a new dimension increase in the discharge so here for a most 
economical rectangular channel section the conditions are we have a conditions with us to get a new dimensions and increase in discharge and that too for a most economical rectangular channel section the conditions are having with us that is width of channel section is equal to twice the depth of flow and also we are having hydraulic grid is equal to y by 2 let uh, let p dash represents the new base width of the channel section because already we have taken a b uh, b as a width of the channel section then now take the p dash as a new base width of the channel section after applying the conditions then y dash becomes the new depth of flow then the new area will be p dash into y dash but what are the conditions given here the area should remain same only you need to vary the dimensions then b becomes v dash and y becomes a y dash but for the constant area the area of cross section should be same that is area is 6 meter square then substituting the value of area here we get 6 equal to b dash into y dash then when you substitute the conditions that the first conditions in this equation we get y dash that is 1.73 meter we get and again substitute this y dash in uh, first conditions we get b dash equal to 2 y dash that is 3.464 these are the new dimensions after applying conditions it is y dash and b dash I hope you understood this one. The next, for the obtained new dimensions, we calculate the wetted perimeter. That is P equal to B dash plus 2 Y dash. These are, this wetted perimeter is for the new dimensions. So, that is P equal to B dash plus 2 Y dash, we get 6.928. But for the old dimensions, the perimeter was 7 meter. Now for the new dimension the perimeter is uh, 6.9 to 8 meter as you know the conditions as the perimeter decreases the discharge get increases so this is the conditions we utilized while deriving the uh, most economical channel section uh, properties so here the perimeter has decreased but the cross section area flow is not been changing that is remains constant only the uh, width and depth of flow varies here so the perimeter has decreased the discharge has increased here and for the new dimensions we have also calculated uh, hydraulic radius calculate hydraulic radius this we get then maximum discharge that is a q dash again we have this formula substitute all the values here we get the new discharge then what is the increase in the discharge increase in the discharge is q dash with the final discharge minus initial discharge final discharge is for the new dimensions initial discharge is for the old dimensions and q dash minus q we get increase in discharge is 0 0.05 meter cube per second the percentage increase sometimes in exam they'll ask a percentage increase in the discharge so in that time q dash minus q divided by q into 100 this is a percentage increase in the discharge this is very very important problem so please practice this kind of problems uh, you refer any textbook either you refer a bansal or any uh, good textbook and uh, keep on solving the problem and try to understand the most economical rectangular channel section conditions okay thank you